My father built a 500 horsepower jet ski boat that he taught me to ski behind when I was five. And I don't know if you know how a jet boat works. It sucks in water through the bottom and blows it out the back with a force of three fire hoses. So skiing behind my dad's boat was kind of like being a civil rights protester in Selma, Alabama. <laughs> At five. And just to be clear, we weren't rich. My father would buy, we hadn't have any money. My dad got a boat from a, like an insurance total. The guy who had stolen the boat had used a chainsaw to cut the motor out and cut the dash out. My father bought it for 50 bucks, fiberglassed it back together, put his family in it, and put it on the water. That's attempted murder. <laughs> and this boat was ridiculous, man. 500 horsepower, drove in the lake with a hole in the ozone directly over it at all times. And because it used so much gas, man, I was like, don't you let go of that ski rope. You let go of that ski rope, you swim back. <laughs> so I never let go of the ski rope. Before I learned to ski, I learned to skip. And the day my dad taught me how to water ski, he didn't like to discover ah! <laughs> He informed me, we were driving up to Lake Tulloch, man, my dad looks over in the rearview mirror. I'm five years old, hey, you're gonna learn to ski this weekend, all right? I'm not gonna have you sitting in the back of the boat like some little fruitcake with your diapers on, all right? <laughs> you're five, it's time to grow up. Can I start smoking, drinking, and whoring like you, dad? <laughs> smoking, yes, whoring's bad for you. We get up to the lake, I try all day Friday afternoon. I can't get up, I can't get up, I bust my ass. All day Saturday, I can't, and the one thing I loved about water skiing when I would watch people do it, they'd come in and do that whip, they did this spray, you know, let go of the, and they do that sink thing. When I was a kid, that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Couldn't wait to do it, but I can't get up all day Saturday. But I never let go of the rope. No, I was not a toddler playing submarine. Oh, I was a submarine. I had water in every orifice. I get out of the lake and just leak for an hour and a half. Hold on, give me a minute. Try all day, Sunday, can't get up. Finally, end of the day, boat trailers in the water. My dad's pissed off, takes me aside. We're going out one more time, and you're gonna ski now. By the way, do you know how much extra money I spent on beer just dragging your ass around the lake this weekend? <laughs> you see these dots on my forehead? That is skin cancer I got since we got here. So you're skiing now, you got it? Yeah, Dad, I'm inspired. <laughs> inspired feels like scared, right? <laughs> And I get behind the boat and I'm just, I'm desperate, scared. I grab it as hard as I could. I get hit it and I get up and I'm doing it. I'm doing 65 miles an hour behind this damn boat. <laughs> and the water is just blowing chunks of flesh off my skeleton. <laughs> and I realize this is the last run of the day. And if I fall, I don't get to do the thing. So I want to do the thing. <laughs> so I let go. And I heard the boat get angry. <laughs> and my dad pulls up and goes, I go, Dad, I got up. He goes, you loser. I busted my ass all weekend to teach you to ski, and the second you got up, you let go. I'm not even sure you're my kid. Get in this boat and shut up. And that was the day my inner retard was born. Yes, now.